Young Anaman, it seems to me that you have been too long away from the fold. Perhaps this is a good time to continue your lessons. I assure you, noble Keldorn, that I am well versed in the statutes and moral laws of the Order. So this is home to your mysterious harpers, is it? Less and less mysterious with every day of your scrutiny, Lord Keldorn. Had I my choice, I would rather none but me were here at all. Massey, my girl, you are a halfling of most extraordinary courage. I am proud to serve beside you. Sir Keldorn, I have idolized you since I was a girl. You don't know how much it means to hear you say that. Squire Enerman, it is time that I had a word with you. I must say that you do not always act in a manner befitting a squire of the order. You must learn to show deference to your leaders and elders. Sir Keldorn, I thought that I made it clear the last time you brought this up. I have no need of further lessons, especially from you. Emoen, what? Are you pawing at me yet again? Do you think I do not notice? You are attempting to pickpocket me, aren't you? Oh, well, no, I, I just thought... <sighs> I must say, Valigar, that I have watched you fight and have found you to be a most extraordinary warrior. How is it that you have not pursued something more important with your life? More important? What do you mean? Your fate has arrived, Sir Anaman. You are a squire no longer, but have now become a knight. Well done, young man. My thanks, Sir Keldorn. You are a fine example of honor and chivalry, and all in the Order look up to you. I feel that I must apologize for being rude to you before, the brashness of youth, as you have said. I urge you to reconsider the sheltering of this trial. However desperate be our mission, we make it worse by sheltering a demon such as her. <laughs> Do you have a problem with my presence, male? I understand congratulations are due to you, Valigar. Congratulations? What for? Do not let your removal from the Order color your choices, Anaman. There is a lesson to be learned from this. Shut up, dog! I've listened to your pompous lessons all my life, and it's gotten me nowhere. Self-righteous preacher! I doubt you'll care much for anything I have to say, Saravok. But have you considered this new life of yours to be a second chance of sorts? You are right, Paladin. I care not a whit for anything you have to say. Cerned, I would like to ask you a question, if I may. You strike me as a good man, yet you refuse to follow the rules of law. I find this paradox quite vexing. Beauty and nature are not bound by rigid laws, my stalwart friend. You see chaos and confusion as your enemy, but they are part of the natural order. You must learn to embrace them as you have embraced law. I must say, ye bard, that I find the use of your musical abilities during combat to be most effective. Play on, I say! Aye, and ye can stride into the forefront, ye hound. I'll just hang around in the back a while, truly enough. Valigar, I have no wish to offend you, but I can remain silent no longer. You are a great warrior and a true defender of what is moral and right. Why should that offend me, Keldorn? Anaman, please remain calm. What I say, I say for your benefit. You are turning away from your god, Helm, and slipping down the path of evil. I cannot let you do this. Put aside your bitterness, Anaman, and talk to me. Oh, you are pathetic, Keldorn. You are a hypocrite and a liar. You care nothing for me, only for your honor. Why should I believe anything you say? 
I'd spit in your face, but you aren't worth even that. One must maintain constant discipline and remember the four principles of virtue. That is my motto and everlasting burden. Virtue, eh, Nighty?